Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. I got the last smoker done from the last video, except for the gauges put in it. This is it right here. The gauges should be in in a couple days. He gets uh, tail true gauges. But I got it wrapped up, and I got the other one going that I showed. Uh, I think I showed the chamber laying on the table. And I got it going pretty good before I started the one I'm fixing to work on. And now I've got more, more of this one done by now. But that little square one is the one I'm working on in this video. And just trying to get the chamber starting, starting to put the chamber together here. I still got a few more pieces to cut out for it and stuff. This is, isn't one of my designs, but I may do another one like this sometime soon. This is a uh, guy had this design that he wanted, so I'm just building it the way he wanted it. And it's done with eighth inch steel, which is really too thin for something this size. I think it should be at least 3 sixteenths. You could use the eighth inch. It would be fine if you did a reinforcement structure on it. But if you're gonna spend the money to do a structure inside it, then you might as well just go with the quarter inch and be done with it. Using the HTP Pro Pulse to get everything welded up. This eighth inch, you gotta put a lot more tax on there than you do a quarter inch, because it wants to move on you all the time. A couple pieces cut out to finish putting it together. This is a door on the front, bottom side of it, for the charcoal basket and ash pan to go in. I noticed some things along the way of putting this together that could make it probably quite a bit better. But he only wanted to do certain things to it, so I can't really do just anything to it. It's really more of just a grill than a smoker. But with a diverter plate in the middle of it, you can turn it into a smoker pretty easy. You get some of the stand cut out over here with the evolution saw. About time for a blade on there. I had a little piece of angle the other day get loose on me. I didn't have it clamped good. And when it popped loose, it broke several of those teeth.
These are the wheel mounts for it. The size of this is 24 by 26. I didn't really have a lot of measurements to go on except for a, about a 24 inch rack and uh, 25, he wanted the rack 25 inches from the fire basket. So that's why I made it 24 by 26. So I can get right at the 24 by 24 rack. These are little legs on there. It's been so windy the past couple of days. I've been having to keep them doors down low as I can. That wind whips up in here and it'll mess you up so bad. <laughs> I'm just getting the stand put on here. I didn't get the whole grill in this video. We're gonna come back on the next one and show the rest of it. And get more done on that other one that you can see kind of in the background there. This is the top door. This is about all I got done on this video. So but, uh, we'll come back on the next one. I've already got a little more done on it. I'll come back on the next one, take another look at it. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and y'all come back for the next one. Pretty much everything over here is welding videos, barbecue pits, barbecuing. I've got to do a, another smoker for myself. I sold mine so with the griddle on top. So I got another one of those coming up soon that I got to do for myself. But anyway, we'll see y'all on the next one.